uh, greetings comrades on sunday the 14th of april 2024 there was a discussion on immigration uh, on sfpc television uh, as a build up to the upcoming elections on the 29th of may 2024 five political parties uh, were sharing their views in this channel we've discussed the views of other political parties on the question of migration what we as the african diaspora forum believe that it is not proper for people to stay in a country without being documented it presents serious challenges if uh, any country in the world it is not safe to have people residing in a country undocumented uh, we all know that is difficult to even uh, uh, estimate the number of people that are undocumented in South Africa. <clears throat> we also understand the push factors as the African Diaspora Forum, why people are leaving their countries uh, for South Africa. And we have said previously that uh, you need to industrialize the rest of the continent if we are to stop one-way migration, which currently is down south. And it is not sustainable that uh, everyone who want to come to South Africa. Uh, this is an issue that uh, political leadership across the continent, starting at a regional level, should address. For instance, uh, the SATAC, <coughs> SATAC member states must, fo must focus on building their economy so that uh, people from Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Lesotho, uh, and everywhere within the SATAC region do not flock into South Africa. Same with the uh, people from uh, East Africa, West and North. So that uh, migration should not be one way down. Migration should spread because we cannot eradicate migration. It should spread. But uh, South Africa, of course, has a serious, serious problem of undocumented migrants. Some call them illegal migrants, but undocumented migrants. Some are working, some are running businesses. So as we go to elections, uh, political parties are expressing views on uh, how the question of migration must be dealt with. But, but what is very clear, and uh, based on uh, previous experiences, is that uh, uh, deportation on its own is not the answer. Uh, uh, in the case of the Sadak region, you deport someone to Eswatin, uh, the next day they are back in South Africa. Same with the Mozambicans, same with the people of Basoto, same with the people of Zimbabwe. You deport them, leave them a bed bridge, the following day they are back. Deportation is not really sustainable. Uh, so there ought to be a way, that's our view as the African diaspora forum, that there ought to be a, a way. And, and we understand the arguments that are raised by South Africans, some South Africans, because some political parties that are contesting the elections understand that or hold the view that there must be some way <coughs> of, uh, of maybe opening another amnesty. I know we'll come under fire for raising this, but it is a reality because it is not safe for any country in the world to have people that are unaccounted for. You cannot deport these people they are staying in your country, certainly there must be a way of identifying them. Some political parties there are for saying, grant an amnesty, document everyone. Uh, so the form of documentation <coughs> is an issue that is for discussion. We have raised, as we made a submission, <coughs> as the department is reviewing <coughs> or overhauling its Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Act, that uh, you have people that work as domestic workers uh, who are paid below minimum wage. We came under attack when we said they should be granted in, uh, an amnesty, get uh, them to give them uh, work visas. We came under attack and uh, some were saying we are advocating for low wages. But the reality which we are raising is that uh, you have people that uh, the South African middle class that will pay these people below the, the minimum wage. And uh, some were saying... <coughs> if you cannot afford a domestic worker to not employ one. But the reality is, this is what is happening. And in the main, these people are not documented. They work in South Africa as domestic workers. They work in other sectors of the economy. 
Uh, like we've already said, that deportation is not really the answer. So uh, as the African Diaspora Forum, we hold the view that uh, something needs to be done. Firstly, uh, the issue of reindustrializing the region, particularly the SATAC region, it's a long-term thing because the, the countries, member states, SATAC member states are sovereign countries. South, South Africa cannot go and impose uh, 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 its views to those countries. But they need assistance. But South Africa has no power because uh, uh, countries are governed by their sovereignty. You can't go and say, no, this is your wrong economic policy, adopt this economic policy, this is how you have to run your government, eradicate corruption, wara wara, so that uh, your people do not cross our, the borders. It's not possible. <clears throat> but this is what uh, should happen in terms of uh, preventing the influx into one country, is that uh, SADC member states must be industrialized. It takes political commitment from the political leadership in those countries who, by the way, do not care because it is not them who cross to South Africa through illegal uh, entry points. It is ordinary people who are victims of the economic policies of, of, of those countries. So uh, it's, it's quite a, a difficult question to deal with because on, one, on the other hand, you have uh, South Africans as, as the debate was noted, that they are unemployed, unemployment is rising. But at the same time, you have uh, uh, undocumented people that are in South Africa. Uh, you deport them, they simply come back. So the question is, how then do you balance this? To ensure that the people in your country, as government argues, that are people that bring to the country necessary skills, fine. But you have the majority who do not bring necessary skills. Uh, you deport them, they come back. You deport them, they come back. How do you then find, find a solution? So, so it's a critical issue. Uh, it's a critical issue. But as we conclude, as we have already said, that it is not safe for a country to have people undocumented. Maybe, maybe we need to, or maybe South Africa needs to revisit positive elections. Uh, 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 once the, all the laws have been overhauled, South Africa ought to revisit the issue of granting special amnesty to undocumented people from different nationalities who are here. Maybe uh, uh, South Africa needs to relook into the proposal of the White Paper on International Migration as adopted or as gazetted in 2017. That recognized that people of low scale from the SATA region do flock to South Africa. And if you go back to that white paper gazetted in 2017, it then brings proposals on how to manage this migration. But there's, there have been a 360 degrees shift from that proposal. And we do not think that uh, uh, deportation is the answer. But of course, South Africa is its way of uh, dealing with this problem. Uh, but as the African Diaspora Forum, we do not think that, uh, uh, based on experience, that uh, it is going to work out. Maybe there is need, indeed, to revisit the proposals as contained in the 2017 White Paper on International Migration. Please share your views. Like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Those that are going to insult us will simply ignore the insults, but it's an issue that we must discuss. Otherwise, goodbye.